up? Uh, I know it's been a while, and this video is about thrifts. I'm currently in a thrift crisis. It started with a couple, and I didn't know what they were, but then it hit me. Thrifts. So now all these plants have to be treated. Yay! And all the plants in my bedroom. I am overwhelmed and it really sucks. I don't know if I could get them all. I don't know how many are going to survive. I might lose like half my collection. Who knows? I am sad. What really sucks is that this spider plant is infested. All the babies are infested. Here's my syngonium, which is infested. <laughs> And my little green bean peperomia infested completely. This is my peperomia orba, which I found is infected. I, it's been dropping leaves for a long time, but I thought it was just due to my like watering inconsistency because that's how I usually kill pe peperomias. But I took a closer look. And you can kind of see on the leaves there, the little black dots, infested. Here's my poor little watermelon peperomia that just got absolutely body slammed by the thrips. And you can even see the thrips like on the sticky trap. At least the sticky trap's working, but it's so disappointing. Here's more thrips on the sticky trap. Like, I don't even know if my pilea is safe. I can't really tell. Everyone's getting hosed down. Everyone's getting the hose. Even my poor Syndapsis argyrius has thrips. I thought they didn't go for, like, pothos and Syndapsis. I didn't think they went for them. But apparently they do. And it makes it, like, 80 times worse. <laughs> I don't know if my red nerve plant has it. I can't really tell what the little white things are. I can't scratch them off the leaf, so I don't know if it's just part of the leaf or if it's a thrip. I have no idea. I don't even know what's going on with this guy. I might just like butcher him and propagate him and treat him. Everyone's getting treated. I don't know what's going on with him. Everything's a mess. I checked my Marble Queen pothos like the vines that were nearest to the infected plants, and I don't see any thrips at all. So I think she might be okay. She's still getting sprayed uh, as preventative, if anything. Well, this morning I noticed that my ficus tamiki, I noticed thrips on the newest leaves and the thrip damage, as you can see. I alcoholed all the leaves this morning multiple times and put it in here sprayed it with neem oil um my other ficus is doing worse this is thrip damage right here like you can see the discoloration pattern of the leaves that's thrip damage i sprayed this one down a couple times they're just chilling in here so i ordered captain jack's uh insecticidal spray and it's coming Wednesday, which is two days from now. Uh, then I'm going to be spraying everyone down multiple times with that. I don't know if I'm going to be able to give them showers like I hear you're supposed to. Like, I don't have those fancy detachable nozzles. I just have a shower head. So I'm going to try my best to like wash the leaves off and treat it with Captain Jack's and the neem oil and try my best. I'm probably going to cut a couple of these plants back, like my uh, philodendron little hope or xandu. I don't know what it is. It's a little hope. We'll call it that. I'm going to probably chop that back significantly. Uh, I'm probably going to chop back my syngonium sim significantly. I don't know if I'm going to chop back my monstera. He has thrips too, of course. Everyone has thrips. Um, my homolamina has thrips, even though it's growing beautifully. Like, I had to really look in the leaves. I just had to look, and I saw them everywhere. But it's still growing, like, it's fine, and I don't see any thrip damage. 
so I'm just gonna like spray it down so it's not eating it but it's still on it which is still a problem and it's all over my aglaonemas I love my aglaonemas they're my favorite plant and they're all infested and they do eat the aglaonemas so once my Captain Jack solution gets here I'm gonna go spray everything down and I'll show you how I spray it down if it helps I don't know this honestly is just kind of like a vent vlog type thing because I'm so fucking frustrated and I don't really know how it happened like I've been looking at my plant I've been watering them you know and I didn't really see anything thrips are so fucking hard to see unless they're like an adult or unless you get up right on the leaves and stare at them for a few minutes and you see something wiggling, that's how I found out there was something wrong. When I got up on there and I saw those fucking little, like, white nymphs, I guess they're called, wiggling their asses at me. And I'm like, don't you fucking shake your ass at me, you're killing my plants. Okay, so that's how I found out. And then I started looking at the plants next to it and I saw them everywhere. And I thought it was just going to be contained to my bedroom plants but then I was like oh my god I don't even want to like look at the plants in my living room I don't even want to look there because I don't want to like I don't want to find out <laughs> it's just it's too much for me with my bedroom plants I couldn't handle the living room plants too but I just I did it because I've been thinking about it I couldn't work because I was thinking about it so I just went ahead and checked I checked and confirmed my fears are correct like quite a few even though they're like still growing and seem okay they got thrips they got them so when captain jacks comes here we're gonna go to war with the little fuckers so i'll give you an update if it works out and everything turns out okay i'll give you an update I'm telling you that and if everything goes to shit i'll t i'll give an update with the survivors i mean yeah, so that's it. Alright. If you're having problems with thrips, or if you have any advice to combat thrips or preventative measures, go ahead and leave them in the comments, please. <laughs> any help is appreciated. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.